portfolio management. And um, what this video is really going to be about is just planning uh, more than anything. Um, as Sun Tzu said, uh, every battle is won or lost before it is ever fought. And what he's stating there is that you have to have a plan uh, and plan for all things, all uh, outcomes. Um, and uh, the better your planning is, the more likely you will be victorious. Uh, if you understand, you know, before you enter into a battle or whether investing or war, you know, what your risk is and what uh, if you're, you have an advantage, um, then you're putting the edge into your corner and, uh, you know, you could either avoid or go forward and decide to, you know, engage, basically. And in this case, we're looking to engage the market. And uh, yesterday I, I had people look up these the top 20 coins um, that have an 85% or greater decline from their all-time highs. And uh, they did that. So now I'm making the video for this. And it really has to do simply with planning. I want you to be objective thinkers. Um, that is where success is. Uh, your objective is to make money. So you're going to look for things that are going to help you do that. Not subjective. Subjective is, uh, I heard this, uh, the weather's down today, you know, raining, and uh, I think Bitcoin's going to crash. Or, you know what, I just got a bad feeling. Or something subjective. Uh, this indicator told me this. Um, that's not really good planning or thinking and uh, you know you might as well just roll dice if you're gonna think this way but uh, what I want you to do is to open your mind and become objective thinkers as a trader you it's critical that you do this and uh, we have a very simple set of criteria we pick the top 20 coins 85 percent or greater decline and then we'll look at the charts and see what is there for us to actually uh, possibly buy. Um, all right, so let's go over and do that. Let's go to the charts. Have up is quantum. Now quantum is right under the 88.6. Now the reason why I wanted you to look for coins of 85% or greater um, was because of the fact that um, I'm looking for exact ratios. I believe that the 88.6 will cycle back to the 61.8. 61.8 is your golden ratio. Your 88.6 is a double square of that ratio. There are two states of energy. There is kinetic and potential. And, uh, you know, like uh, with dynamite exploding, right? It's first contained in a stick of dynamite, and then something causes it to explode and releases the energy and so forth. Well, same thing happens with charts. And you get a long periods of constriction that build up the energy and then when it's released and it explodes upwards you get your price spikes and all of that well um, that's what I'm going to be looking for in the future uh, and uh, then I'm going to go over and look at what's my risk reward I think my risk reward is pretty good considering that we're around eight or seven uh, a coin here and my upside is back to 34 so if you make 300% or greater, um, 3 to 1 or 4 to 1 on some of these, um, that's a pretty good return. And, uh, you know, so I would be looking at that and saying to myself, wow, I, I really like, you know, the potential of this. And um, so that, that's, you know, as well them being in the top 20, I, I have a little bit of stability on my side. If they were in the, the top 50 or underneath that, then the risk kind of goes, um, you know, because you're not sure every one of these projects is going to pan out. Uh, but then again, it's everything in crypto is kind of like that. So what can you say? Um, you know, you, it's higher risk. It's a young market, but we believe in crypto. So we're going to say this is a good deal. And it is and a value proposition just from the price mechanics. I like it. The next one we have is uh, NEM, which is the Japanese coin. Lots of uh, drama with this one because they had coins stolen and all that and some hacker and whatnot. But um, 
Okay, so this has dropped down a great deal. It too is a good portion underneath that 88.6. So its upside potential is very great. Uh, so that's gonna fit right in that realm right there. I like that. And let's go to another one. Let's go to Cardano. I like Cardano. Again, a good portion under its 88.6. Like that too, fantastic. All right, upside from there, if we're down to 12 and we go all the way back to around 58, um, good deal. Um, percentage wise, fantastic. So all of these have this common theme. Uh, Dash, kind of resting right next to the 88.6. If it falls in line with the others and has uh, a, a stronger down move, it wouldn't be unusual. It would be coming into alignment with them. So maybe I would wait a little bit longer on this one right here, but still it's within a good portion and the upside potential is pretty good. Um, and we're gonna go to Tron, same thing, uh, but it's resting right on the 88.62, kind of mimicking Dash and so forth. And so this could have a little bit more downside to go. Um, you know, but I'm not here to predict. Uh, we are traders. Uh, people that like to predict things are called psychics. Uh, you know, I'm looking for value, and all of these coins pretty much have the value, and, and they fit within the criteria that I'm looking for. So, you know, if you want to try to finesse it, you have a risk there as well that you can miss out on trades. Um, I'm not too worried about that. I, I take my time, so it's no big deal. Uh, I do think the last two probably have a little bit more downside, um, but they do fit within the criteria that I set and, and gave and whatnot. But um, so you understand the reasoning that I came up with and the, what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the 88.6, the double square, the 61.8 to cycle back up to here. And uh, that's pretty much the, you know, clean and simple. And it's just what I'm looking for. Now, uh, you know, as you develop portfolios, you know, I want you to open your, your thinking and stay focused on your objectives. I mean, things don't have to happen, but look at what does happen. Observe the price action and the, the, what actually occurs. And try not to get so focused on subjective indicators that um, are uh, not useful because we want to become objective thinkers. Uh, and subjective thinkers are people who have feelings and read an article or, you know, they have a thought and a belief. Oh, God, the people that believe and hope, uh, they're, they're troublesome. Uh, I need observable facts and I need things that repeat themselves and I need something that's going to uh, uh, occur that's going to help me uh, with my objective. And my objective is to make money. Uh, that simple. And uh, if I find those things that will help me do that, then I stay focused on them and whatnot. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and that gives you a pretty good idea of how I would start building a portfolio and some of the criteria that I go over and I use in just my everyday trading. And I'll do more videos like this to help you. And uh, you know, you'll see these type of trades and whatnot actually appear in the live trading account. So it'll be interesting and fascinating for you and uh, we'll tie it all in. And uh, you know, we put our money where our mouth is. It's just not talk or you know, uh, some guy giving you a signal or something like silly like that. But anyway, um, have a great day and I'll see you next time.